If biodiversity were in the Olympics, Brazil would not only medal in every single event, but would capture 50% of the gold medals. Furthermore, there exist only a few nations on Earth capable of competing with the Amazonian behemoth. But species count alone does not qualify a country as megadiverse. Endemism refers to the state of a species or other taxon being unique to a specific geographical region and was a heavily weighted factor when in 1988 the world's 17 megadiverse countries were first proposed. Our journey into the world of competitive biodiversity begins on a continent that is perhaps more famous for its wildlife than any other. Although Madagascar features some of the world's most unique and interesting animals, surprisingly it is not only home to the lowest number of vertebrate species of any megadiverse country, but ranks just 30th worldwide. It is thanks to its long historical separation from any mainland continent, however, that this island nation exhibits some of the highest levels of endemism, with an estimated 85% of its animals and 90% of its plant species found nowhere else on Earth. It is the only place in the world where lemurs abide in the wild, playing host to all 100 species, and also boasts a large number of reptiles, with over 400 being endemic to the island. That said, it is Madagascar's performance in the amphibian category that is most impressive, ranking 11th globally. Along its eastern coastline, the Mozambique Channel separates Madagascar from mainland Africa, where we continue our journey in a country with a surprising ecological makeup. South Africa is indeed one of the most biodiverse places on Earth, but not for the reason you might think. While the country is home to a long list of incredible animals and some of the most famous safari destinations, it is in fact South Africa's Cape Floral Kingdom, specifically a shrubland habitat known as Finebos, which features 9,000 species of plants that secures the country's designation as megadiverse. In terms of fauna, the wide array of mammals and birds on display here do not actually rank that highly when compared to other countries. Rather, it is South Africa's reptiles that perform the best, with the 17th highest number of species. This country also features a long, picturesque coastline that stretches almost 3,000 kilometers around the southern tip of the continent and is home to many animals including some of the world's most infamous aquatic predators. Almost 1,000 kilometers from South Africa's northernmost border sits another country that showcases a very different side to African biodiversity. The Democratic Republic of Congo is Africa's second largest country and contains around 60% of the Congo Basin, which is surpassed in size only by the Amazon. This huge drainage basin, which stretches 500 million acres across Central Africa, creates a wealth of biodiversity so much so that the rainforest here is often referred to as the world's second lung. That said, the DRC is home to a surprisingly small number of vascular plant species, ranking just 28th globally. Where this country does shine is its number of mammal and bird species, which place 8th and 10th respectively. Some of the world's most endangered primates can be found in the forests of the Congo, along with many fascinating species of invertebrates. The Congo River itself is one of legend and contains not only some of the world's largest reptiles, but also a great number of freshwater fish, with more than 300 species being endemic to the nation's waterways. There are only 10 countries larger than the DRC, one of which is located 5,000 kilometers across the Arabian Sea. India features one of the most balanced profiles when it comes to species diversity, placing it in the top 10 for every event. It is the seventh largest country in the world, and like the Congo, its vast swaths of tropical forests support much of its biodiversity. Although India is the only country on Earth to feature both tigers and lions, and is one of only two countries with four species of bear, it is India's reptiles that perform the best, ranking fifth with over 700 species. India is also one of only 16 countries that are home to more than 1,000 species of birds, many of which display a wonderfully colourful plumage. At 7,500 kilometres, the coastline here is twice the length of South Africa's and features a set of fish species more accustomed to the warm tropical waters of the Indian Ocean. 
India's northern border sits at the foothills of the Himalayas, a mountain range that makes our next stop all the more interesting. China is another country that places in the top 10 for every category, but is the first country we'll explore that would meddle in the Biodiversity Olympics. It is home to the third highest number of mammal species found across a wide range of habitats, from the snowy Tibetan Plateau to the lush temperate and tropical forests further east. These forests cover around 20% of China's total land area, and in addition to contributing to the second largest number of vascular plant species, house many of the country's colorful birds. Several of the world's longest rivers meander through the Chinese countryside and play host to many of the country's reptile and fish species, which rank ninth and fifth respectively. Although these numbers are high, accounting for 14% of all vertebrate species worldwide, only 10% of these are endemic. China is the largest country on the list by land area and sits northwest of the second smallest but no less breathtaking nation. The archipelagic nation of the Philippines is made up of no less than 7,000 islands and perhaps unsurprisingly performs best in the fish category, with well over 3,000 species found in the picture-perfect waters, placing it sixth worldwide. There are several species of marine mammals which also enjoy the warm waters here, alongside many invertebrates and some of the world's most venomous reptiles. The Philippines is located in an area known as the Coral Triangle, which encompasses several other countries on this list, and contains 76% of the world's coral species. Although the species count is much lower on land, the level of endemism is high, with 50% of the terrestrial vertebrate species here found nowhere else on Earth. Mammals make up the second smallest group of terrestrial vertebrates, but exhibit a higher than average level of endemism at 65% of the 220 species. From one coral-rich nation to another, our journey continues in a country split between two locations. The relatively small nation of Malaysia ranks just 67th by total land area globally, yet, with the exception of birds, places inside the top 20 for all categories in terms of species count. This nation shares the famously diverse island of Borneo with two other countries, although it doesn't exhibit as high a level of endemism as you might think, at just 20% of its 222 mammals and 9% of its 420 bird species. While the wildlife of Borneo is no doubt still impressive, some of Malaysia's most incredible animals reside on the mainland. The Malayan tiger is one of the rarest big cat populations, with numbers estimated to be as low as 80 to 120 individuals remaining. As you might expect from this part of the world, the species-rich Malaysian rainforests are but equally pristine turquoise waters that harbour a wealth of marine life, including many invertebrate species, reptiles and fish. The island of Borneo is split between three nations, with our next country being the largest shareholder. Indonesia is another country that would bring home three medals, securing one gold in the mammal event with over 700 species. One of the reasons this number is so high is the faunal boundary straddled by Indonesia that sees some types of animals abundant on one side and sparsely populated on the other. According to the CIA World Factbook, this archipelagic nation has the third longest coastline of any country in the world and supports the second largest number of fish species. In addition to owning the largest portion of Borneo, Indonesia also owns the world's sixth largest island, Sumatra, which is the only location where tigers, rhinos, elephants and great apes live together. As if that list of accolades wasn't enough, Indonesia ranks fourth both by number of bird species and by number of reptiles, including the world's largest lizard, the Komodo dragon. Indonesia also occupies territory on New Guinea, which is located to the east and split between our next megadiverse nation. While Papua New Guinea is the fourth smallest of the megadiverse countries, it is the world's third largest island country behind Indonesia and Madagascar. The island of New Guinea is home to 12 of the 14 species of tree kangaroo and some of the bird species with the most spectacular plumage and the most impressive displays of courtship. But it's not just terrestrial species that thrive here. 
In addition to its portion of New Guinea, this country also owns many smaller islands that stretch out into the Bismarck and Solomon Seas. Like those of the Philippines, the reefs in this area are part of the Coral Triangle and support some of the world's most diverse marine ecosystems, which, along with many other fish species, house some of the world's most unusual sharks. Papua New Guinea is part of the continent of Oceania, whose largest member is found just 150 kilometers due south. Australia is the sixth largest country in the world and at the same time features some of the most intimidating and heartwarming creatures. It is home to the third most vertebrate species due in part to the number of reptiles and fish, which are more numerous in species count than any other country. The Great Barrier Reef is one of Australia's most revered natural wonders, stretching over 2,000 kilometres up its northeastern coastline and alone harbours over 9,000 species, including 400 types of coral, 1,500 species of fish and 4,000 types of mollusk. Like Madagascar, it is thanks largely to its historical separation from other continents that Australia also exhibits impressive levels of endemism, with 82% of its mammal species and a staggering 93% of its frogs found nowhere else on the planet. Australia's easternmost point sits over 11,000 kilometres across the Pacific Ocean from our next stop and the first of seven nations to explore in the Americas. The territory of the United States represents one of the largest differences in latitude, giving the country a wide range of biomes from the subtropical tip of Florida in the south to the temperate areas of the east and the dry deserts of the west, all the way to the boreal forests of Alaska in the north. Although the US is home to many beautiful and iconic bird species, this is, in fact, the area in which it performs the worst being the only category with a ranking outside of the top 20. Conversely, the United States ranks the best by number of mammals, with the fifth highest number of species residing within its borders. Thanks to the state of Hawaii and the extensive freshwater system of the contiguous states, this country also boasts the seventh highest number of fish species, as well as ranking in the top 10 for reptiles and the total number of vertebrate species. The flora of the US is also quite striking, with over 15,000 species found between its 50 states. If you thought America's biodiversity was impressive, it might surprise you to know it is outranked in all but one category by its neighbor to the south. Mexico is another well-balanced nation, placing in the top 10 for every category, with the exception of birds for which it ranks 11th. Mexico has two dominant biomes, desert and tropical forest, both of which act as excellent habitat for reptiles, which gift the country its highest ranking, placing second globally behind Australia. The forests of the south play host to many species of mammal, so much so that Mexico is one of only five countries home to over 500 mammal species. This nation is also included in a small group of five that are home to more than 20,000 vascular plant species. As impressive as its terrestrial wildlife is, Mexico also features two long coastlines which border two of the world's marine biogeographic realms, the tropical eastern Pacific and the tropical western Atlantic. In an effort to save the best for last, our journey concludes with a set of countries found on the banks of the world's most epic river. Venezuela is the first of five countries we'll discuss, whose species count is dictated largely by their proximity to the most biodiverse area in the world, the Amazon. Of these five countries, Venezuela owns the second smallest portion of primary forest, at just over 6%, so it is somewhat surprising that the country exhibits the third most vascular plant species in the world, at around 30,000. In terms of fauna, despite hosting some truly spectacular wildlife, Venezuela performs the lowest of the South American megadiverse countries. One area that sets Venezuela apart from most of these nations, however, is its long Caribbean coastline that is about as picture perfect as it gets and blesses Venezuela with a wide range of marine fish in addition to the freshwater species found inland. Venezuela borders three countries but shares the Andes with only one on its southwestern border. 
Colombia ranks significantly higher in terms of fauna, although despite being the only South American country to feature both a Caribbean and Pacific coastline, in addition to some of the world's most incredible freshwater ecosystems, fish is the only category for which Colombia does not rank in the top 10. The country's most impressive categories are those of its birds, featuring more species than any other country, and amphibians being surpassed in number only by Brazil. There are over 600 species of reptiles here, including some of the most eye-catching snakes and almost 500 species of mammals, which are supported by the third largest chunk of the Amazon at just over 8% of the primary forest. Colombia is only marginally larger than Venezuela, but is exactly four times the size of its tiny southwestern neighbor. Given that Ecuador is the smallest megadiverse country, and of them owns the smallest percentage of the Amazon at 1.7%, it is perhaps the most impressive for the density of the species it harbors. This country ranks inside the top 15 for every category, with the exception of fish, performing best for its number of amphibian species being surpassed only by Colombia and Brazil. In addition to the tropical forest on the mainland, what makes Ecuador unique from other South American megadiverse countries is a collection of famous islands that sit 1,000 kilometers east of the mainland. The Galapagos Islands display some of the highest levels of endemism, with a staggering 97% of its reptiles and terrestrial mammal species found in no other location. The birds of the Galapagos are also unique, with 80% of the species shown to be endemic. Heading back to the mainland, the Andes are exhibited by few greater countries than our penultimate megadiverse nation. Peru is one of the countries that best exhibits South America's most epic mountain range that stretches from Colombia in the north to Chile and Argentina in the south. Many of the country's most well-known mammal species can be found traversing the rocky slopes of the Peruvian Andes, including one animal after which the fictional Paddington bear was based. Although the nation's mountains are a sight for sore eyes, at the eastern foothills of the Peruvian Andes lies the second largest portion of the Amazon rainforest at 12.7%. This gifts Peru, the second most bird species in the world, just a fraction less than Colombia, the fourth highest number of amphibian species and the sixth highest number of mammals. The floor of the Amazon is teeming with invertebrates, which are interesting in their own right and also play an important role in the food chain of the Great Forest. Of all the countries covered so far, none exhibit the performance and the consistency across multiple categories than our final and largest Amazonian nation. Brazil is the fifth largest country in the world and by far the largest in South America. Its long list of accolades includes the highest number of amphibian species being the only country to feature over a thousand, the highest number of vascular plant species at almost 35,000, and the second highest number of mammals at just under 700 species. In the categories where it doesn't claim gold or silver, the absolute worst position Brazil can muster is a bronze, which it does so in the bird, reptile and fish events. Brazil is thought to have not only the largest number of total species, but also the largest number of endemic species, with over 2,000 endemic freshwater fish, over 800 endemic amphibians, and over 250 endemic birds and mammals. In terms of biodiversity, there are few areas of the world more important than Brazil, a country home to roughly 60% of the Amazon and the world's largest tropical wetland area which you can learn about in this video as one of the 30 greatest national parks in the world. Thank you so much for watching.